All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna chamfer um, this one just a little bit, okay? And chamfer this one just a little bit. And this is my screencast keys off again. This add-on is amazing. Disappearing all the time. And let's chamfer this one a little bit as well. Not too much, just a bit, yeah? This edge here. And this should do. In fact, you know, I'm thinking whether we shouldn't um, round this one up a bit. So let's go here and see what's going to happen. And let's round this up. This could work. So what we're going to do is remove this uh, mark and then round it up. Yeah, like this. How are we looking? Yeah, I think it works. I think it works. It's pretty cool. I like it. So let's keep that. And now I need some uh, something in the front. So let's remove uh, this edge from the middle and go to the front view and grab a cutter like this. In fact, maybe on this side it's going to be better. And uh, I'm going to mirror it to the other side. So um, bevel this right with a B. And you know, cut it through quite deep, so I'm gonna have some leeway with movement and um, solidify and hold shift and just you know, solidify a bit and mirror it to the other side of this gun because this gun is mirrored to here, which means we can mirror across this origin point, right? So that's that's that. Now let's apply this and uh, let's flatten this so click on these two and flatten click on this one this one and flatten and then select this one and gy and move it outside a bit okay so we got the gun front we're gonna worry about it later so in fact what we could do is uh, control l and separate it to its own selection so for instance if we're gonna start cutting this right um with let's say you know angons or whatever um, it's not gonna affect uh, this this main barrel here right? okay so this would be our um, our gun block out like really you know rough block out right so let's save it and what we're going to do now is we're going to select all these, okay, and uh, parent it to this object, okay. Now, before we do anything, let's actually apply all the mirrors, right? So let's just select all these and simply run smart apply, okay. So this should apply mirrors, all right, perfect now. Now we can uh, hide these cannons, right? In fact, and not hide the cannons, but let's move these to back up, okay? So, back up, there we go, because we need these. And now we can just select this one because we parented it, right? Right, so let's grab this one and we can move it in here. Don't worry about the cutter. The cutter doesn't uh, matter. We can delete it. And let's, uh, Jesus Christ, this gun is huge. So we need to, we need to resize it a bit. So let's mount it somewhere here. Oh my God, that's just too massive. Uh, let's mount it somewhere here. And uh, in fact, you know, before we do that, let's, let's, uh, let's keep a copy somewhere here. Yeah. So. Uh, before we do this, before we do anything with it, let's in fact um, shift D this and GY move it in here. And we're going to keep a copy of it. I forgot to make a copy. So new collection and Canon final. Okay. So Canon final. And we're going to, you know, turn it off for a sec. So now let's focus on this sh uh, this one, shall we? Let's, um, let's see how we look on size here. So we could, you know, resize it a bit on a on this axis, and uh, we're going to rotate it. So hold Control and rotate it just a bit. 
and probably gonna move it somewhere here like this right and this uh, this bit will need to move to the left so where is it um, GX and move it in here right so I probably need to make it a bit thicker there we go and maybe a bit lower so GZ and kind of like this right there you go now let's see what we can do here it's um, I don't know if it's not too definitely not too small but what I'm saying is that this one is a bit too small so what we need to do is uh, make this one a bit larger right we're gonna be remodeling this part anyway but just for the time being let's you know let's let's fit it properly here so let's make it larger but narrower right it needs to be a bit more circular in fact we will meld it with a circle okay to mount it on this so that's what's gonna happen eventually right we're gonna mount it properly and i think we need to elevate it a bit higher so at the moment it doesn't fit so it should be you know something like this i don't know somewhere here maybe maybe we need to rotate it a bit uh, maybe this kind of thing this would work as well and i think this gun is a little bit too high maybe it could be a little bit lower you know so somewhere here maybe it can't be too low because then uh, it can't be too low close you know too close to the legs so we could do something like this right and then select these again and rotate them a bit and drop them down something like this maybe so let's select all of them and let's mirror them to the other side let's see how we're looking well, that looks menacing. That's what it is. Okay, that looks really menacing. Oh, we're gonna have to, in, you know, invent some mounting system in here. A really good mounting system because these guns are massive. Okay, um, this should be a bit lower in right here somewhere like this. There we go. So definitely some loops. To support the curvature but uh, uh, these hands gonna have to be redone for sure but that looks pretty that looks pretty crazy that looks like transformers you know pretty awesome we're gonna have to invent some kind of a really interesting um, uh, mechanism in here because because of these guns are rotated right at the moment we need some hinges and I think I'm gonna build in hinges in here so I'm going to build a cylinder in here and rotate it on X and you know probably build one pivot point in here okay so let me just move it in all right let's scale this now and sharpen it so see something like this in here like a hinge and there should be one more in here so this gun can rotate up and down and also you know this way within the range of these um, cables at the back so I think this is gonna be pretty dope this looks pretty crazy I'm not gonna lie it looks pretty crazy so this would be this would be it for the guns and i think the last thing we need to block out is uh this uh, gun support part okay so we're gonna do it next video so uh i'll catch you next video guys